guys, Mark Barash from Pro Tech Dog Training. We're out with our Shih Tzu group this morning. We've got Norman Augustine, one of the better trainers in the area, who's helped me build several dogs. And he's been using the stick a lot. He uses the guide stick, and there's a lot of uh, tricks in the bag, like doing the ball drop out of your armpit. It's just one more thing to be able to put in your tool bag. So I'm going to let Norman help me out today, and you'll watch him give me a little lesson on this. One of the biggest things you need to understand, you never know everything. You always want to reach and grow, so if there's somebody out there with a skill or something I can put my tool bag on to take it. So we're going to go let Norman take the field, and then we're going to work with him. So what do you want to do? Sir? Set him up in uh, heel position, basic okay. position. Right. Right. Facing this way, Mark. Facing you, okay. Oops. Oops. Sit right there. Of course, you want to stick with this hand and this hand. Right there, but you have to be able to hold the leash. Okay. Go ahead, sit. Have it sit. Yep. Settle down. Okay. Good. Good. Straight. So have your. Keep him in uh, sitting, okay? Okay. Sit, sit. Good. Yeah. Good. Basically, going to create a channel here for the dog to work in. Okay. Okay. So he doesn't know what this is. Yeah. So the first thing sit. you need to do is start getting the dog used to this. And I haven't done this yet. Preliminary work. There you go. But what I want to do is probably classically condition it. So, and I'm just jumping ahead a little bit because common sense prevails when you got a little bit of experience. But we're going to keep letting Norman work on it. So we're creating a channel here. Yep. Leash in this hand. Yep. And then usually, do you use like a clicker to get them started? So you no. Click, no. Click. How are you doing it? Uh, basically, through. just light taps, pop, pop, pop. We will kind of like make him sensitive to the stick. Yeah, and we will teach him. Yes, yes, yes. So food, food, kind of, but we actually need to tap and we have to teach the, 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 the kicking of the butt in first. Okay. It might be with the lure. Okay. To teach teach him the movement and then we add the stick in. Okay, so we got to get a quarter yes. turn built in first. Yes. Which yes. we have been working on, but to do that, I usually have been using the lure because that's the spot where quarter turns are here. Yep. So I want to try to bring in the stick, but in those pieces of the puzzle, would you think that we need to do the quarter turn and get that solid yes. first? And yes, stick? actually, we need to get the, a stable basic position, a very solid looking up, and then some of the pivots okay we bring the stick in when you're taking away the lure ah when you're phasing out yes. the lure bringing the stick yes, yes. when you fade That's away the lure like you take the stick you get the head up or the stick to reinforce the pivots and then the lure comes out again okay so we're kind of like yeah back yes. and forth and yep you're phasing yep. you're phasing out your lure you're bringing in this which means a little bit more compulsion yes kind of attitude. yes okay so right, right now until he's steady on this. Yes. I'll start classically conditioning yes. this with a click or whatever and okay. get him used to that. And then we want Keep to create steady. a channel here. So what we're going to do, folks, we're going to show you this progress as we go along. And right now, keep in mind, it's real rough. We're just getting started. He doesn't have a clue what this is. And we need a little bit more of the other pieces of the puzzle that he's talking about. With quarter turns that I showed you the other day. And this thing needs to be solid before I can bring in the stick. So we'll talk about it more. Keep, keep keep your hands steady, Mark. Okay. Okay, don't be like moving around that much. Mm -hmm. So, lure here, lure. If you do pivot, keep that here. Who's? Right there, right? Because you're always uh, 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 here. Yeah. So we have a steady hand. Yeah. Right there. Up. Keep the hand there. There you go. Yes. Good. Yeah. There. So now, up here. Good. Stop. Keep the hand there. Watch. Light pop, light pop. Good. Lead. Good. Good. So bring the hand up a little bit. Yes. And then, yep. Okay. So when he looks down, pop a little bit. When when he looks up, food. I use good, not yes. Yes is my release command. Right. So I don't know what you're using yes for. I use it as my um, classic condition to break. I can use that, but I have a yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Because I use yeah. good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Food, food. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So would you say good and duration marker on that? Or yes. Okay. The duration mark. Uh, basically, what I use 
while he's in the exercise is good. It's not a release. Yeah. Good. I see what you're saying. So, so he stays in the exercise and in the in basically what we're doing. So go. Okay. Good. Good. Top him. Good. Good. Light pops. Light pops. Good. Good. Yes. After the pop, give him food if he's responding. So he's not scared of the pop. So we have a little bit of a meat pop. Yes. Pop. It's more of a positive thing to keep him in drive right. instead of a negative. Fuck, you know the right. shit. Go. I do, but I wanted to help you help me out a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Having protect from the other side of the fish bowl is always important. Good. Good, good. Good, good. Yes, good. Come on. So I'll start working on the classical condition of me yep. touching him with a stick. Yes, good. So, distance. Nope. Yes. Good. All right, that's good enough. We'll good. talk to you guys the next time. Baby steps and we'll get there. <laughs>